In this video, I want to go over a music player called Dead Beef. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video with the instructions on how to install it or remove it from your system. And before I actually show you the program, let me show you what the website looks like. At the top, I have a brief description, which Dead Beef is an audio player for Linux, Mac, and other Unix-like systems. It's a very basic looking uh, player when you first install it however it's very customizable so if you like to customize your software on your system like your operating system and the other applications that you install on it then you'll enjoy using dead beef because it's highly customizable now it's not very highly full featured but you can install plugins to extend the, the capabilities or the power of the program. Now if you want to know a little bit more where the name was derived from, it's actually a hexadecimal number and here's the uh, zero dead beef and that's the actual decimal equivalent and it says dead beef is frequently used to indicate software crash or deadlock in embedded systems and then dead beef was originally used to mark a newly allocated areas of memory that has not yet been initialized so it actually has a meaning other than just a name for this particular program now if you don't have this installed I recommend you to open up your terminal there's other ways other than putting the commands in the terminal and if you don't like using the terminal you can click your uh, pkgs.org locate the operating system and click the installable file from this particular website or you can go to sourceforge.com and it's actually where the project is located and as you can see if you're using Debian or an Ubuntu or Ubuntu based system you can download the most current version as you can see it was March the 20th uh, 2020 when this version was created so it's something that uh, keeps updated it's not old software you can actually go to the developers website and there's a lot more information on the developers website than you see on my website you can click the download link and get what matches your system. Now as I said earlier it's highly customizable. You can see a variety of different looks and you can click on those to make them even larger. Now let me show you how to install it. If you do choose to use the terminal and it's very easy, you open up your terminal and you just simply copy this list of commands, right click copy and paste it into your terminal, press the enter or return key, put in your password and it will install the PPA. It will add that to your list of repositories, the PPAs to your repositories. Then you update it. Now if you're using Ubuntu 18.04 or newer, you really don't need the update, but this is for anyone that's using older versions of Ubuntu or the Ubuntu derivatives. And then you just go sudo app get install dead beef. You just simply copy and paste that into your terminal and press the or return key and it will install the program. As I said, you can also download and install the uh, from the install package. If you want to remove it, if you find out that you don't want it in your system anymore, just open up the terminal. Regardless if you installed it by the uh, install package. I did have someone on my older video that installed it by the installer package and they asked how to remove a particular program. It, it uninstalls the same way. If you install it by the dev package you can double click that and hit remove but you don't have to keep those. You can delete them. You can right click on that and say sudo app get remove the name of the program and it will remove the program from your system. And If you no longer want the PPA added you can just simply copy this paste it in your terminal and it will remove the PPA that you added to your system. Now once you install installed it. Since I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 the with the traditional menu, it's located in the application, sound and video, and you can see here it says dead beef. Now before I actually click on it, let me show you a little bit more about the web page and then we'll actually go and use look at the program. When you first install it, it may or may not have songs here dependent upon your folder, the way you got your system set up. But once you open it, it looks very basic. You got your stop, your play, your pause. A lot of players have the play pause to where when you press the play play button, it will change to a pause. This has two separate ones so that you press play or pause. You can go back a song or forward to the next song. This is the where you playing a song. Once it's added to a list, you can see the progress, so it's your progress bar, and then your volume control. You can drag, take your mouse and click on it, move back and forth. Here it's set up to possibly play wide open, so you might want to be aware and turn it down before you actually hit the play button when you add songs. It's easy to add songs. You just go to the file menu, you can add a folder, so if you've got a lot of songs or a lot of albums in a particular folder, it will not only add the current folder, it will add all the subfolders, so if you got music within music, it will add all of those and place it in your list and you can organize them by clicking on the track number the title the duration or the album name and it will organize them in this list
list. As you can see here after I chose add folders I went to my system and it wasn't on my main hard drive it was on my larger 2 terabyte and nowadays 2 terabytes not that large but I do have three internal hard drives in this system other than the little SSD and on my 2 terabyte I do have a music folder that I clicked on I hit open and it took several minutes so I'm not going to show you all those loading it took several minutes to load all of the album or songs and albums in this list and you can scroll down and see all of those and it's still by the default looks very basic then you can go by sort by and you can sort them by your title your track number your album your artist your date or you can randomly organize them or you can create a custom organization for the way that you want them organized in your view you can also add an extra column if you want to add a column or you can even remove columns you can highlight an existing column and choose to remove column or you can even add an existing column and when if you want to add another column you type in the name of the column that you want and then you can just uh, choose in this case I'll show you you can hit a drop down list and choose some of the preset ones uh, in this example I showed chose the bitrate so that way I can see the bitrate for each song that's playing and some of them has variable bitrate so the bit rates will change in particular albums and this one right here had a bitrate of 192 if you do want to customize it you can go to the view and then you can choose to uh, go into your design mode and you can change the way that it looks in this way I put a cover art along with a little spectrum or it looks like a, a bar graph showing you when the music plays you can see the beats to the songs so you go into the design mode and then highlight the area you want to change in this case it will turn kind of a bluish purple look and you can choose some of the preset design features to add to your player and I'll go through and I illustrate this on my uh, site so I'm not going to go through and talk step by steps and you can use an equalizer and you can even convert songs so let's actually take a look at the program itself in my case I go to sound and video and I click on dead beef now I've already have my albums added to this list if you don't just simply go to files you can open a one particular file or several files use it as an individual player here you can choose a folder that you're adding files or if you want to add a folder like if you got a lot of album art click on that go to it and it will add all of your albums and you'll see a little progress bar grow as it adds your albums now once you've added it, this is pretty simple basic uh, looking player but you can kind of customize it to to look however you want it to look so you have to go to view go into the design mode and this is important go into design mode and when you finish uncheck the design mode so you check the design mode and you don't see anything special happening here you right click on it and when you right click on that area everything kinda turns that bluish purple look and you can say replace with now I want to replace I want to split it in two and have my playlist over here and I want to have my album art here and like the little spectrum graph here so I want to split it into two parts so I'm going to use a splitter I'm not going to use the top and bottom I'm going to use the left and right so now I've got it split in two halves I'm not going to worry about the size right now on this side I want my music playlist so I'm going to go in this section I want to right click choose the playlist with tabs and that way it says music so if I open other tabs I'll have them across here to tab across to have my different music list open here so that's my music list and, I, and in a moment I'll resize that uh, to show you how it looks kind of similar to my website on this side I want to split in two but this time I want to split from top to bottom so that way on the bottom I want to put my cover art at the top I want to put my spectrum graph or a different type of graph or even something completely different to, uh, all together so I right click here and I can choose my album art so album art display will go here so when I click, click the song it will pull the album art in this area now I want to go up here and I say insert and here I can choose the spectrum I can use a scope I can use a lot of other things uh, in here so I choose the spectrum and now let me go and uncheck the design mode so when I play the song and I want to make sure the volume is turned all the way down I don't want to get any copyright violations when I play a song it now shows you this the bar graph or the spectrum the album art so if I wanted to make it look nicer don't have all the gray area here I can just drag in between the two and I can pull it there then I can resize it however I won't so it's very customizable and again there's a lot of plugins that you can add to this and I'm not going to show them in this particular video because there's lots of different plugins that you can add that will extend the the customization look and the features of this program now another nice feature of this even though it's not packed with a lot of 
extra programs that does a lot of things it does allow you to convert a song like if I wanted to take this song that's an mp3 I can right click on it I can say convert I could choose my output folder somewhere different like if I wanted to place it in my music folder on my main hard drive I could choose music here as you can see here I do have two albums and I, I hit open then I could put the name of the file I can put like thousand miles or I'll just put sample for because it's sample and by encoder as you can see here you've got a lot of preset encoders if I wanted to since it's mp3 I wouldn't want to go to uh, that's the variable bit rate and that's the constant bit rate I could choose a different output like if I wanted flack I could choose the output of flack I could say the pass through and I can keep the same source to whatever the bit weight was unless I had a variable bit rate here uh, so you could change that and you could say when if a file exists to skip it or you could put to overwrite or prompt you so you could rename it so that you're not overwriting an example and a file that's already exists so as you can see here this is going to have the OGA format because uh, oh, I said OGG if I wanted to go to something different I could up here like if I said uh, flack here then that has the flack extension so when I hit OK now this is going to go in my music folder I hit OK and it takes a moment or two and it gives you a little output and it's going through showing you the convert in place and all the things that's loading in a few moments when it's done I don't think it'll prompt you when it's finished but when you go into the music folder it will place it here in your music folder so uh, I'm not gonna wait till it finishes so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna close it out but you can convert your music from one particular file format to another with this player however I just like looking for music players and illustrating music players that allows you to play your existing music on your hard drive or another hard drive external hard drive I'm not necessarily looking for players that actually stream I do have other examples of that on my website so if you're looking for a little nice little player that's customizable then you might want to give dead beef a try hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.